I'm so excited about this look. I feel like I'm doing, maybe Scaparelli does clowncore. One of my favorite things in the world is having a destination as an inspiration to dress up. And I just had the best dress up moment going off to JCK in Las Vegas. It's one of my favorite trips of the year because it's just full freedom to just go crazy and have fun and embrace an inspiration. And I feel like Vegas is one of my favorite places because it just seems like wild and so you can just go wild whatever you want it to be i thought it would be fun to talk through all of my inspiration leading into dressing up the looks for jck and then a little bit of pulling some of the magic that ended up being worn during my time in vegas and then also some of the behind the scenes of me actually putting all the looks together and getting everything into a carry-on. I got everything into a carry-on for this trip. And then we're going to jump over to Vegas and you'll just see a little bit of a check-in on all of my outfits and all the details. And what's really fun is that a lot of these pieces are for sale on my website right now with the Check the Tag Vintage MB Jones Style collaboration. We have put together an entire shop that includes all the pieces that I wore in Vegas plus everything that is inspired by the look. So there's even more pieces, lots of different ideas for you, accessories, and you can go crazy shopping that. And I have the link down in my video description below. But first let's just chat through the inspiration. I always get to stay at the Venetian Palazzo Hotel when I'm there for JCK. And I often feel like that is my inspiration because it's so opulent and we have that Italian inspiration and this time around i thought what italian designer could i take notes from to dress up all my looks and of course scaparelli came to mind which was really fun because i spent some time actually really understanding the history of scaparelli and elsa scaparelli and how she started the entire brand and then now the resurgence of scaparelli with daniel roseberry taking over as creative director so i spent a lot of time researching looking at videos listening to historians talk about Scaparelli and I think that's really fun to understand more of the history and then go with you know the styling so I pulled together all of these images for my inspiration I love just the use of gold everywhere there's so much accessorizing within Scaparelli looks and so with the opulence of the Venetian, I love just all of the gold that's used in Scaparelli. Also for me, I was inspired to use not just gold, but also silver and metallic since we're in that moment right now in fashion. And then I loved the inspiration of using a lot of black or darker tones. And often I wear a color or prints. So this was really fun for me to take inspiration with more of a moody palette, white, black, silver, gold, and then also the use of really amazing fabrics and of course, leather. And I feel like at the heart of all of this, it's just very dramatic. Everything has something really bold about it. Very over the top and fabulous and opulent. So this was the inspiration for me putting all these looks together. And then once I've pulled my inspiration, I send all of it to Marilyn from Check the Tag Vintage. And she curates a collection of items for me and I get to head over to her studio and do a pull. And I'm going to actually take you there now. First up, I'm pulling from Marilyn from Check the Tag Vintage. I always work with her on this JCK trip to Vegas. I feel like she has such incredible pieces and I'm gonna go pull from her studio and we're gonna kind of check out what she's put together. I've already sent her all the inspiration and all of it and she's been sending me images and then I basically go in and check everything out and then I'm gonna bring it back to my house and then that actual styling process will happen. But this is some of the fun. So let's go see what she has pulled for me. I'm dying. Uh, Marilyn has my vision hanging on these racks. It's so good, you guys, and the accessories. First, let's just look around.
all the racks and choose first just my favorites and then I'll go back and start to add extra pieces and you guys saw there's so many amazing accessories so I'm definitely going to take a lot of accessories just because so much of the inspiration involves accessories and we're going to a jewelry show so I of course want some amazing jewelry to work with. <laughs> everything it's heaven it's a dream um i am gonna show you some of my favorite pieces not necessarily that i'll style with all of them but these are the things that just instantly grab my attention and i audibly gasped i have to sh actually just show you the first thing that made me gasp oh my look at this incredible beaded can you see the shimmy and the shake of it? And then look at the back. <gasps> okay, I don't know if I can bring this because it weighs a ton. And so I don't think it would fit in my suitcase. I like to check everything in with me, but one of you guys could have this. So I'm definitely going to work with Marilyn to curate the collection. And I feel like this has to be featured in it. This Victor Costa jacket is perfect. I will definitely be putting this in my pull rack. Um, it's got just that great tailoring, very cinched in all of the gaudy gold that I'm looking for. Anything that just feels extra fabulous, regal, super chic, this is definitely one of those. That last jacket was Victor Costa and this is also Victor Costa. I love the big rosette flower here and it's totally about 80s with some tiered ruffles. But what I really love about this for my inspiration is the detailing here. It almost looks like something that you would see in the Venetian and it's got that kind of rope draping design on it if you can see it. So this could be a really great option for maybe a dinner. This is everything that I love and that I'm looking for. I love all the drama right here on the neckline. It's gorgeous. It's actually a suit, which maybe I would wear it as a suit, but I also just love this, you know, paired with something else, even some black trousers, or even I, I think I can take this inspiration and go a little more casual with it as well. So it could be paired with some denim or some you know black leather pants this is absolutely gorgeous look at the tears on the bottom with this silver polka dot and the big bow i also just really love the bodice here at the front with this cutout design and i feel like this could be really chic with a blazer for a dinner so dress it down a little bit with you know a blazer but oh how much fun this is kind of reminded me of where I'm at right now, which is more of this circus dressing, but I love that it's the play on the inspiration being in these more dark moody stripes, but I love the collar detail and the big puff sleeves. I also think this would be such a great, it's a shorter dress, so this could be a great layer, a top, and then wear it with pants or a skirt, you know, play around with some different proportions for this, but... I love the combination of taking my inspiration and then also dressing up where I'm at right now, which is my circus dressing. This is interesting. I love all of the different prints and fabrications on this skirt. If you can kind of see, there's pinstripes and then some ruched uh, pieces and panels. It looks a little bit bigger, but I'm wondering if it's worn lower on the hips. And then I do like the idea of taking the inspiration and then giving it a twist so if it's a western twist or like the other one like a circus twist i think that could be fun to play with so overall scaparelli but then with some dashes of other categories thrown in and i feel like that could work with this skirt always need to have some blouses in the mix with styling so i don't even know for sure if i would use this but i always want to have options of all the separates to pair with everything and i love that this is the incredible gold it's got all the detail of the collar and then even a little bit of a balloon sleeve i still need prints in my life and so i love that this is playing off of that gaudy over the top but it's got such a fun print i can't help it i need a print 
I think if I had to pick one thing that will get worn, it's this jacket. Look at all of the amazing detail. It feels so luxurious and so much texture, but I like that it's Valero style. <gasps> this is coming with me. And look at this. This would be such a fun way to do some menswear dressing. It's definitely, you know, more of the silver details, but I think that could be really great to play with. And then after coming back from Maryland's, I put together all the pieces that I selected from her studio and then also grab out a few items from my own closet that I feel like go with the inspiration. And you can see here, these are the images of the looks as I put them together. I usually stand in my living room. I have an explosion of clothes everywhere, all the accessories laid out, and I just do a full on styling session. And this is the very raw version of it which I really love to see the kind of build of the whole look and the whole inspiration coming together and so this was all of the looks that I came up with here in my living room and then I flew off to Vegas with all of the looks in one carry-on and here's a little bit of a preview of the fact that it really was all in a carry-on I packed that 1980s big exaggerated bow dress and all of the accessories and all of the fabulousness into this carry-on. And then finally you can come with me to Vegas and see all the looks come together, the hair, the makeup, everything, all in one magical combustion of drama, daring drama in Vegas. Scaparelli takes Vegas. A one here in Vegas embracing what I'm calling daring drama inspired by Scaparelli. Oh, and Hannah's here. Hello! Remember Hannah? She's with me! Yay! Glad to be here. Yes! Um, okay, I'm gonna break down my outfit. I pulled from Maryland, check the tag vintage. This jacket jumped out to me as the number one thing that I wanted to style. I loved it. And so I went with a very kind of chic menswear look, taking some inspiration from Scaparelli with this hat, and I saw some ties on the fall runways, and then I did these amazing high waist suspender pants with this look also from Check the Tag Vintage. And then this is just a little, what I call a cow print shirt um, that I've had forever. And then boots that I've had forever, little 90s Western boots. And just some big, huge earrings. I feel like this is all about jewelry here at JCK, so I always want to wear something statement when it comes to the jewelry. And we are off and ready to take on JCK luxury today, darling. Getting ready for my second night here at JCK. I'm so excited about this look. I feel like I'm doing, maybe Scaparelli does clown core and I'm going to break it all down. I had so much fun putting this look together. This actually is Marilyn from Check the Tag Vintage. Puff sleeves, clown circus dress. And what's crazy, you guys saw in my video that I thrifted this skirt underneath, which was the perfect pairing to it. I like that it was more of the checkerboard print over the stripe look, which to me just added even more of the clown element that I loved. And then this hat is also from Check the Tag Vintage. I added a little brooch right here. And I feel like one of the things I love about coming to JCK is just the emphasis on accessories and jewelry. So it's fun. Everywhere you go, you see people wearing really fun jewelry. And so it's fun too explore that for myself and then I did these wire and pearl earrings that I wore the other day and then the last little detail are these incredible silver shoes from Cezanne and I loved the big platform with this look oh yeah and I did a big waist belt I also loved how this had the diamond shape in the stitching it reminded me another element of clown so this is I don't know a little Scaparelli does clown core Good morning. I'm just having my cup of coffee and I don't have my outfit on yet. Oh, it's been so crazy here at JCK and so busy that I haven't filmed all my outfits and I'm so sorry, but I wanted to quickly just talk through two of the looks that came together and I'll share imagery of those looks. First of all, the first night I got here, after I dressed up my Matador look, I went into this ballet core kind of 1980s prom dress vibe and I took this incredible drop 
waist dress from Check the Tag Vintage. It has a huge bow on it with the big polka dots and all the flounce, and I loved the drape of the back. And then I wanted to give it more of a easy look, and so with the inspiration of ballet core, I added little ballet flats to the look and put a bow in my hair, and I felt like that took this kind of 1980s prom that you could feel like has to be worn to a big gala or something and made it a little bit more like just go to dinner in Vegas. And then also just for one more layer, I added this Christian Dior tuxedo jacket that is such a dream. Again, check the tag vintage. And all of these pieces are shoppable, by the way. So I'll put the link in the video description below unless they're all already sold out. But hopefully you can grab some of them. And I felt amazing in this look. It was really fun to take that easy spin on a more dressed up look. It felt very French of me. I don't know. Don't the French do effortless really well? <laughs> anyway, that's what I felt like I went with. And then for day two at JCK, this look was definitely very inspired by the runway. I think it was spring 2020 of Scaparelli, which has the, the corseting. A lot of the looks had these incredible floral pieces, but I did the idea of the very draped creamy top and then corseted it and then put it over a leather midi length skirt. And I felt like that was kind of playing off of the Scaparelli looks from the spring 2023 runway. And all of the image is right here. And I just finished it off with some Gucci magic because why not? And my hair, I felt like I wanted some like alien-esque drama going on and so that is where the hair came into play. I think hair is such a fun way to accessorize the outfit. And then I also took these incredible earrings from Check the Tag Vintage as well. They felt very Scaparelli. And going back to last year at JCK where I talked to JB Jones, she had taken a clip on earring and clipped it higher up on her ear. And I was so inspired by that idea. And so I'm just rolling with that inspiration and did that at the show. I wore one pearl earring and then one normal on the ear. And then I clipped the other um, amazing gold earring up high just to add some interest here at the face. And we are at a jewelry show. So I had to go full on, you know, with my jewelry. Anyways, those were the two looks that I ran around in and didn't film, but I wanted to share them with you and I had so much fun bringing them to life. And it is now day three and it's my last day here at JCK and I'm going to get dressed and I'm gonna share my last look. It's really fun, it's a little different for me and I'm excited. All dressed and ready for the last day and this look is very inspired by the fall 23 runway show of Scaparelli. They did this headband look for I think almost all of their looks on the runway and I loved it. So I just got this off Amazon and then I just put in a little bun. And then this incredible studded dress is from Check the Tech Vintage. The studs run all the way up the sides and it just kind of creates this design on the dress. And then I thought it would be fun to add even more gold and almost more studs in a way. And so I added this body chain detail that I got at a vintage store, House of Strut in Savannah. And then I love how it goes in the back too. It's like I'm wearing a little harness. And then this is a vintage choker that I've had for years and I added that here at the neck. And then these are both also check the tag vintage. I love that this one has almost like a horse bit um, style like very Gucci and then this one is a, a tassel moment right there which is fun and then oh how good are these earrings they're so much fun the return of that close kind of clasp clip-on earring of the 80s that is a trend that I've been seeing popping back up in the jewelry world and I am all here for it let's get all that fun costume jewelry and put them on our ears and have a new year party. Um, anyways, okay, well I'm headed out to the floor of JCK. I'm gonna bring you along a little bit today so you can actually see more of what happens here at JCK. But it's been so much fun playing dress up. I love, I love coming to Vegas and like getting to go all out with all of my looks. Morning from JCK. I'm at my last day in incredible space. And I'm going to share all the goodness of JCK. So those were all the looks that I wore in Vegas for JCK. And I love working with them. I love going there. I love seeing all the jewelry and 
really just meeting all of these incredible jewelers and designers. It's such a fun, amazing few days. And of course, I love to play dress up while I'm there. And just a reminder that check the tag Vintage of Beach Own Style. We collaborated on an exclusive sale just for you of all the items that I wore in Vegas, plus even more curated pieces. So you can click that link down in the description and shop any of the pieces in my sale. And thank you so much for coming along for this destination inspiration dress up party in Vegas. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday. And finally, always play dress up. Bye. Mm -hmm.